I think that rap is the most sexy genre to ever exist. Rap yeah. is the most rap sexiest is... genre to ever exist. Sexiest. Sexist, sexist, okay, sexist, okay. Sexist. I was very like, different. I, I was so like, very very different. Different. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, but interesting. Uh, so rap is okay. the most sexist genre to ever exist. Oh, you would hate early 90s. Oh, actually, now it's even worse, actually, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Hello. We are right exactly on time to another... <laughs> episode of excuse me the hottest most scandalous game show in all of twitch lands joining me today of course some familiar faces but we also have some new faces as well we got chaotic what up what up how you doing hello welcome welcome we got pata develo aka yes chloe welcome in <laughs> how are you hi excellent and we got princessa aka bruno hello hi and we have Howgat. So, all right. So today, um, <laughs> How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. what's the general feeling when I said you guys should come on this and do this with me? What was like the initial reaction? Just out of curiosity. I was really disappointed at the pay. <laughs> that was my first. You guys are getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> In terms of how the scoring works for the person that gives the hot take, if they manage to deceive two people, they get two points. And the people that guess right gets a point. So that's how it works. Your ability to basically lie and cheat and be saucy would really work in your favor in this game. Some of you might know that I've played a little bit of the Dark Souls game. Oh God. I actually think that most soft uh from soft games including the dark souls obviously are way overrated and they're really actually not that good <laughs> oh i'm thinking through it because i remember watching you play the dark souls and i don't know if you ever had a good time <laughs> <laughs> i mean the entire time you were so bad hey, wow, this is a lie what a review <laughs> what didn't you like about that they kind of hide behind the fact that they want to make them hard, you know, to challenge the players. I mean, it's all they have, you know. Did you ever play Elden Ring? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, it was buggy for me, so barely. Okay, yeah, you played on. But a little bit, yeah. Did you finish the game? That's I have question, finished the first one, and uh, I have not played the third one, and I've been lost in the second one. I don't know where. I've played like 40 hours of the second one but not finished yet you said i got lost in the second one like a traumatic child getting lost in a supermarket <laughs> that had lost their mom it was i just was i got great. lost i started I, yelling i stood still and no one came to get me <laughs> yeah that was that was pretty much it yeah this this is a very interesting one because i feel like you, it's kind of like you either like the games or you hate it there's no in between it's not even that because like if i can just elaborate i I did enjoy playing them on stream. I would never li have liked them playing on my own. My opinion still that I, I think they're kind of overrated. overrated. Okay. So okay. not as good as everyone says. Gotcha, okay. I have a bias here, but I think she's, she's okay. true because I agree with her. Okay, so you believe that? Okay, so that's yes. Chaotic, what yeah. do you think? Well, I've never played these games, guys. So this is a real stab in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not what you want when you're stood in a supermarket. Um, I what? don't really know. It's hard, right? Because overrated then is based on the opinion of how rated the game is. Yeah. I'm, I've heard of them. How's that? I think you're telling the truth. Because I think some games have like a cult following and then you play them and you feel like you've been turned away from the tv and just facing the wrong direction because you don't get it so i played a few games like that i get it uh so i think i think you're telling the truth i think you didn't mind them but they're not gonna change you you're not going out to get a dark souls tattoo that's that's the level i pushed this up <laughs> i know you played through one and then you decided you wanted to go to two and then you got stuck on two but then you chose to go to elden ring <sighs> I'm going to say you think they're overrated. I'm, I'm going to say you're telling the truth. Wow. Full house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be massive W for Chloe if she gets this. Uh, so, Chloe, what say you? Is this true? Do you believe so or absolute bullshit? Yeah, it's true. Oh. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> 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 
Wait, I have a question then. Where are, where is everyone from? So Bruno's from Brazil. Chaotic is from the UK. Harga is from the US. I am currently living in Deutschland, Berlin at the moment. All right. Yeah. Currently, are you leaving? I might Free be. I might now. be going somewhere else. I'm on the run. We don't talk about it. You want me to be my my roommate? I need I need someone to pay rent, please. I don't but, trust you, man. I don't know. You should. You, you really shouldn't. So. <laughs> Did you commit the same felony as Harga? How are we on the same? <laughs> Nobody fucking likes pumpkin spice. America told us we should like it. And because we have no personality, the whole world went, sure, pumpkin spice is shit. It's like the worst flavor that you could ever put in a coffee. I don't know why everything has to have it in at full. Like it smells nice. It's just not the best flavor. I don't understand the hype at all. Every white girl in your chat has left. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Fire other rest. pumpkin flavored food? No. Pumpkin's not a flavor here. Pumpkin is an American flavor that we've just decided to adopt for some reason. Pumpkin flavored things hmm. don't taste like pumpkin. They've, they've never seen a pumpkin in their entire life. They've seen orange, but I don't believe they've seen a pumpkin. I don't know what pumpkin tastes like. So pumpkin spice, just quickly, it's an aromatic blend of cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and ginger. That's it. I feel like it, it might be overrated, but what we're trying to figure out here is if you actually believe that is shit. Think that. What are you drinking right now? What am I drinking? Tea. Yeah. What 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 flavor? My third tea of the hour. It is a, an an English breakfast blend. Prove it. Which has come from Iceland. What the fuck? Oh. Turns out I am a food wanker. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard food wanker is such a new term to me. No. <laughs> So what you're saying basically is that you hate Halloween. I don't know what Halloween looks like there, but Halloween is not just a giant pumpkin. There's there's other flavors no, involved in Halloween. Yeah, it's like, pumpkin. it's the smell of Halloween, right? Even if you don't like the beverage, how it's do you- smell of like fall. I think there are better Halloween smells. flavors of things. So like maple, spicy maple, incredible. Like caramel, incredible. I'm not like chopping an aubergine in half and sniffing that, and that's the equivalent. It's just, it's a vegetable. I don't know why we've made it so synonymous with oh Halloween and with, with autumn. It's mm. orange, o autumn's orange, I'll give you that. But it is just the most American thing to pick the most orange vegetable you could find and tell us all that we need to love it. Do you drink coffee at all? I do. I think you're telling the truth. I think she's deceiving us. So, uh, so uh, Bruno, you think she's lying, right? You think this is not true, yeah. okay? See, that was a. I think that your last question was a good one when you asked her about coffee. And if we have had time, I would have asked more about this because I feel like if you really like coffee, you wouldn't like it and you would have this opinion. I feel like people who like good coffee, wouldn't not Americans, because mm. you guys don't have a vote. <laughs> you can't hug it when it's wow. about food. A whole right? nation. I'm sorry, but no. So I hey, feel right. like if she actually does like coffee, she wouldn't like it. And mm. she would really think that. But I can't ask this question. But I'm still gonna say that she she's telling the truth then. Celtic, tell us. Okay. What do you <laughs> What is the truth? Target colors. What is the right? truth? I fucking hate pumpkin spice, man. It tastes it tastes like oh. sweetener, and I have sweetener in my tea. I don't get it. Nice. It's like someone takes a really lovely coffee, right? And then they go, do you know what? I'm just gonna sprinkle in a bit of nutmeg. And then you know sometimes when you pour spices in things and the lid fucking comes off and the whole thing just goes in. That's what happens in a coffee, guys. <laughs> it's like being, it's like a nutmeg challenge, similar to like the cinnamon challenge, but one that you have to pay four pounds for. I don't get it. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. You know how you said uh, American food opinions don't matter? Uh, pizza Hut did a pumpkin spice pizza last year. What is happening? What is happening? Are you, are you okay? Oh my god. You want me? You want one? I'll deliver it to you. Uh, are you trying to get a free holiday now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Last night I was at a rap hip hop festival with my boyfriend and we have a, had a lot of fun. But after I decided to add this as one of my hot takes because I think that rap is the most sexy genre to ever exist. Rap yeah. is the most rap sexiest 
genre to ever exist. Sexist. 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 Okay. Sexist. Okay. Sexist. I was very like, different. I, I was so like, that very different. No, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, but interesting. Uh, so rap is okay. the most sexist genre to ever exist. Oh, uh, you would hate early ninety. Oh, actually, now it's even worse. Actually, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> What about last night made you suddenly come to this conclusion after you listened to this music all the time? I'm assuming after going to a festival dedicated to it. It wasn't a suddenly conclusion. It was just like the final drop to overflow the cup, I would say. Was that like a Water. thing that happened? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the artists, because there was a long lineup and the lyrics of one of the artists just shook me off. I'm not saying that rap is bad, okay? Do you mainly listen to rap or...? No, I don't at all. Okay. I grew up listening to most types of rock music, uh, but currently I pretty much just listen to lo-fi so I can work. <laughs> okay. Who are your favorite artists? Like, I know you said like, you like lo-fi and all that, but like, you know, you put on Spotify, you know, who do you, who do you, who do you go to? It would either be Paramore or Ooh, nice. uh, Christina Perry. I'm thinking if she doesn't really listen to rap and I don't really listen to rap, but I've, I have a little bit. If she doesn't really listen to rap music and also she's from Brazil, right? So I don't know what the extent of like your knowledge of, I don't know when you learned, she learned to speak English and understand English. But for example, me, it was like when I was 16, right? So you don't really <laughs> listen to the lyrics at all either, yeah. uh, especially when you Very don't understand English. Yeah. I think she's telling the truth, okay. but I still have a little doubt. But I feel like we don't know each other enough for me to make a 100% guess, but yeah. Okay, well this is going to surprise everyone in chat, but I don't listen to rap music, guys. <laughs> My thought is... Well, what do you listen to, just out of curiosity, so that people know what you're into? Well, I'll listen to anything, which Except in rap. a minute Except is not going to... It's not going to sound great. <laughs> just Except rap, basically, okay. okay. <laughs> This is not going to sound great. I'll, I'll juxtaposition this by telling you about three weeks ago, I went to watch Iron Maiden live. Please just keep that in your head before I get cancelled for the next sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two thoughts. One is that you went last night and it was one artist you listened to, you said, that made you come to this conclusion or like made it stand out for you, which is mad to me that it took that one person when you were there the whole night to disparage an entire genre of music. And I don't listen to rap music, maybe every other word is very sexist. Not sexy, we've established. <laughs> um, yes. So that was my first thought. And my second thought, here's where everybody lose, I'll lose everybody. I quite like country music. Mm. Yeehaw, let's go. I would like to take yeah. a bet that country music is probably the sexist and sexiest. Oh. Uh, genre of all time. Okay. Interesting. I like a girl in denim jeans as much as the next lass. But you like the tractor songs? I like the tractor songs. Oh, I love a tractor. Um yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like country music is probably worse because of the volume, right? And I just it's it's the thing that you said about the one band, the one artist who like just made it stand out to you. So I don't think you believe this. I think there's worse mm. things out there than rap. And I feel like, because you've got quite an eclectic music taste by the sounds of it, you might have heard it. <laughs> that's my that's my thought. I think you believe in it. I I think and that's my kind of opinion of it too. Okay. I think it's pretty sexist, but you know, that, that's just me, so. I understand where the sexist part comes from. And I do think it's pretty bad in rap, but I don't think anything beats Brazilian funk. Really? Ah. Uh, okay. I've heard some Brazilian funk. So, you so, but just quickly. So, you're saying you but don't have you read the it. lyrics? No, I no. I, yeah, I don't believe it's the most. Okay. I would gotcha. say that's like second or third. Okay. Okay. So basically, everyone did not get this. I think we all said yes to this. I'm mis I'm mis no, no, no. No, sorry. No. Chaos said no. Chaos said no. No. I was just testing to see if you paying attention. Good job. Oh, God. Good job. All right. Bitch, so... if I lose, I'm blaming you. <laughs> hey, you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel right here. And if you want to see more, check out this video right here. Here.